Hey guys, how's it going? It's Justine, and today we are unboxing the new Xbox One X. I think that's what's in this box. It's been a while since I've opened up a box like this. Usually I unbox it, open it up, and then unbox the box that's inside of the box. But today I have been avoiding all spoilers of all of my friends who've been posting their unboxings. I was like, I can't, I'm not gonna look, don't tell me anything. I wanna be fully surprised and immersed in this unboxing. So I'm just gonna stop talking and I'm gonna get into this. This is really heavy. I have to sharpen this knife because I have completely dulled it by stabbing cardboard way too often. Oh. I can't see! <gasps> Wowee, what is this? This is a super nice, high quality book. What's in it? These are some instructions. This is a very nice instruction booklet. Normally when I do unboxings, I take these things and I toss them aside, but this is beautiful. This is like a collector's edition <laughs> instruction booklet. Xbox One X has 40% more power than any other console, six teraflops of graphical processing power, 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory and a custom eight core CPU. This is a nice book, I'm saving this. Right. We've got this little thing here. There are codes on the front of these cards for all of these games. Zoo Tycoon, which I already have. Some of these I actually already have, so I will give some of these away to you guys. This is so cool. Super Lucky's Hail Battlefront. Wow, 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 wow! This is great. This is great for me, and this is great for some of you. Stay tuned. Next, we've got a 4K Ultra HD Planet Earth 2 DVD. This is nice. I think I've got some entertainment for this evening. As soon as I get this thing hooked up. And we've got an Xbox Live Gold. Xbox Live Gold, Xbox Game Pass, month of Netflix. EA Access? Okay, so this is, I'm gonna have to give these away to you guys because I already have Netflix. I've already got my Xbox Live Gold. Like I said earlier, stay tuned to my Twitter or Instagram or something. Wow. Oh my goodness, there's so many surprises in here. Let's get to the big boy. So here it is. Xbox One X, this box looks great. 4K Blu-ray, 4K Ultra HDR, yeah, baby. I'm pretty excited about this because I have been playing a lot of Destiny on Xbox. I know a lot of people have been playing on PlayStation, but to be honest, for the longest time, my preferred console has been Xbox. Mostly because all of my friends are there and when I wanna play games, I wanna play with my friends. So, this is what we've got. Very careful. Hope nothing falls out. Okay, this, be very gentle. Let's see what's in the box first. Got an HDMI cable. Oh, this has gotta be the controller. Here it is. You look great. Oh, we've got our power cable and I'm so glad that they've just completely got rid of the power bricks. Those things were so huge and loud and annoying. This is the way to go. Thank you, internal power supply. All right, this is what we've been waiting for. The time has come. Here it is, ooh, it's heavy. You're a beefy little boy or girl. Oh, this is cute, it says hello from Seattle. Xbox One X. size comparison. So the Xbox One X is slightly bigger, but not by much. It's a little bit taller. Oh my God! <sighs> that was very scary. I almost dropped this. It does feel a little bit heavier, but not really by much, to be honest. Oh, there's coffee on this Xbox. <laughs> May have spilled a coffee the other day. I don't want to talk about it. I didn't spill it on the Xbox, but I did spill it on the carpet, and some of it clearly splashed on this. 
I love this white Xbox. I'm sad that they didn't have the Xbox One X in the white. One of the things that I do like is they made all of the back slots and ports the same as on the Xbox One X, so it's very, very easy to transfer from your old Xbox to your new one. All of the cords will go right into the same slots as the board. shortly a huge thank you to Microsoft for sending me an early one to check out I'm so grateful I've been playing a lot of destiny but I kind of took a small destiny break to play stardew valley and Mario Odyssey but now that I've beat Mario Odyssey it's time to hop back into destiny I've got to get raiding I've been traveling a lot this past month and I knew that I was leaving so I was hoping that before I left I could complete a raid and guess what I did not it's a pretty big time commitment and trying to coordinate six people at the same time who have very clear schedules who have zero plans for an entire day to get this raid completed seems to be quite challenging. Hopefully in the near future I'll be able to do that, especially with the holidays coming up. I'll have some downtime and some of my friends will have some downtime, but I can't wait. I've been having so much fun with Destiny. Other than that, I'm looking forward to Call of Duty, which will be out so soon. I have been waiting for a good Call of Duty for the past couple of years, so I'm excited because so far World War II was so much fun. I played it a bunch at E3 and I also played the beta on PlayStation and on Xbox. So before you know it, Call of Duty is back. I know a lot of the pro players do play on PlayStation, but I'm going back to Xbox for this one. Like I said, most of my friends play on Xbox and it was kind of lonely over there on PlayStation. Xbox X baby, I'm back. I love you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. I have so many videos coming up for you this week. It's gonna be a super exciting few weeks for tech. So many cool things are out and I've got some fun things in the works. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And that's all I've got for you. If you wanna follow me on Twitter or Instagram, I'll be doing a giveaway of some of those codes. So if you hang out there, I'll probably be posting some information on how you guys can get those. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.